Hey everyone, how you guys doing? I'm Erica. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write Pinterest pin descriptions correctly to help you get traffic back to your blog. So let's get started. So this can actually be done three different ways. You could simply add your descriptions here on Pinterest when you upload your pin, or you can add your description at the beginning of your post in your meta description here on your blog. And when you also upload your images here in the description box so those are three ways that you can add your descriptions so let's go ahead and find our keywords that we will be using so now that you have your image uploaded and you have your title which are your keywords you want to go ahead and do your research so open up a new Pinterest tab and you want to start typing in your your keywords your main C keywords so Pinterest descriptions and as you begin to type you're gonna see that Pinterest is gonna give you a lot of different keywords that people are searching for so you want to go ahead and you want to copy those onto a notepad so just go ahead and paste those on there and you want to continue searching for other keywords as well so you're going to do this until so Pinterest descriptions let's go ahead and get that as well and then you want to go to Pinterest pin Pinterest pins Pinterest pin so let's go ahead and copy that as well oops so we also have here how to write Pinterest. So we're going to grab the first one, how to write Pinterest descriptions. So we're going to copy that. Now, because this is a low competition keyword, we don't have other keyword phrases that people are searching for. But you want to continue doing this like Pinterest. Let's go with Pinterest SEO. Okay, Pinterest SEO. We're also going to copy that copy and you want to do this for as many variations as possible for your main keywords so let's go with Pinterest SEO tips now this is also relevant to your particular post so we're going to copy that as well you just want to keep it relevant and continue searching for keywords that people may be searching for we're going to copy that as well So you're going to continue doing this until you have enough keywords that you can use to craft your Pinterest description. So Pinterest traffic is also relevant to this kind of a pin. So we have Pinterest traffic and then we got Pinterest traffic tips, Pinterest traffic tips for bloggers. Now you don't have to add all of these into your your description you can use some of them as hashtags but we need these keywords we need a lot of different variations that people may be searching for so we're going to grab as much as we can okay and i think that we have enough so now that you've gathered all of your keywords it's time to go ahead and craft this so that it is readable to humans we want to just copy and paste your descriptions into here so let's go ahead and see how we can do this I've already written this out so I'm going to paste it on here and I'm going to read it to you so like I'm saying here in this video you will learn how to write Pinterest pin descriptions correctly to help you drive more traffic back to your blog sadly these Pinterest description tips are hidden by many bloggers but the truth is you really need to master crafting Pinterest descriptions if you want to rank your Pinterest pins you will also learn other powerful Pinterest traffic tips and Pinterest SEO tips for better results so then I added the extra keywords as hashtags here as well now I will go ahead and just I, I'm, I'm just gonna show you the keywords that we gathered and how I added them in here so we have Pinterest pin descriptions we have how to write Pinterest pin descriptions and then you have Pinterest pin description tips and next you have 
on another one Pinterest pin descriptions here. Then you have Pinterest pins. And then you have Pinterest traffic tips, Pinterest SEO, Pinterest pins, Pinterest traffic, and all of my keywords are in there. So we'll go back to the list that we created. You're going to see that all of the keywords, almost all of them, are in this description. But the description is also readable by humans. And Pinterest will rank this pin highly for all of the different keywords that we added in there. So now that you've completed crafting out your description, you want to make sure that you add this description to your Pinterest pin when you're uploading it to your blog. You want to have your hashtags in there you, because when people come onto your blog and they repin your pins onto Pinterest, you want these keywords to be within your pin descriptions. By doing so, you are going to make sure that your pin carries along that SEO juice. And you can also use those keywords at the beginning of your post. Just make sure that it is readable, guys. And you can also go ahead and add it into your meta description as well. But you want to remove the hashtags if you're adding it at the beginning of the post. And always make sure to have an image in your post so that when people pin your post to Pinterest, your images goes along with it. Finally, you want to make sure that you save your pin to a relevant board. This is very important. So if your pin is about Pinterest tips, you want to find a board that is relevant or else your, Pinterest, your, your pins are not going to rank and they're not going to get found. So there I have a board called Pinterest tips. I could also schedule this with Tailwind or save it to other group boards that are relevant as well. So I hope this video helped you guys and I hope you've learned exactly how to write your Pinterest descriptions so that they get ranked higher and that you get traffic back to your blog. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome until next time.